Rachel Reeves was getting her excuses in early this morning ahead of the polls opening tomorrow. These are, in some ways, quite a hard set of elections. And I know that politicians are always trying to underplay expectations, but last time these seats were fought, Labour won more than half of them. So there's not perhaps the, the gains that we might have if other local authorities were being contested. But Labour want to show tomorrow that we are making progress, that after that devastating defeat in December 2019, that we are rebuilding, regrouping, and regaining trust under Keir Starmer's uh, leadership. And that is certainly what I'm feeling on the doorstep. But, of course, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. We'll see the results as they come in on Thursday night and Friday morning. They're a hard set of elections because Labour won more than half of them last time in 2018, apparently. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Who was leader then, then, eh? You avoided mentioning him, didn't you? That'll be the same chap you told the Times recently you're glad never became Prime Minister, which, by correlation, means you preferred Boris Johnson then means you didn't support your own party at a general election and must surely have celebrated losing in that case, all whilst you enjoyed the highest majorities you yourself had ever achieved in your own seat. Nonetheless, polling does suggest you're on course to win some 800 local council seats tomorrow because the Tories are so bad, so scandalised, so corrupt. Surely gains must be made if progress is being made as you suggest, if you're going to, as you say, rebuild from 2019, which Tickles me no end since your party got more votes in 2019 than they did in, for instance, the new Labour years of 2005 and 2010 and Miliband's shot in 2015. Where, where was the rebuilding from defeat then? Ah, but we know how this will play out, don't we? If Labour do well tomorrow, it'll prove that they are rebuilding from 2019 and putting the damage of the Corbyn years behind them. And if they do badly, well, that'll be all Corbyn's fault again, won't it? I bet you won't be so shy about mentioning him then, will you?